Hey all, um, in this tutorial we're going to be looking at headers and footers. Um, when we talk about headers and footers, header and footers basically refer to like the top part of the page, which is known as the header, and the bottom of the page, which is obviously the footer. Now the good thing about headers and footers is the fact that we can insert one header and footer into one page, but it will go to all the pages. So if you want to put information such as maybe the name of the report, um, the class that you're in, um, your name, essentially whatever you've been asked for a uh, by a lecture to do, you can insert that. Okay, so let's have a little look and let's see how we put one of these in. Now, the first thing I'm going to suggest is go to your table of contents page okay so your second page and just basically click in the table of contents or anywhere else in this page as long as your cursor is on this page and i'll explain why in a minute next we want to go to the insert tab we select that and we go along the right of the ribbon and here we've got our header and footer options so I want to put in a, a header first of all, so I'm going to say click the header and the one I'm going to suggest that you'll use is the second one down, the blank three columns, okay? I'm going to select that and there we go, okay? It's gave me this option um, to type some information up here. Now, the reason I say is go to your second page and not your first page is because we should always have this enabled this is under the header and footer tab different first page okay you do not want a header and footer on the first page unless you're instructed to do so and um, so always start that on your second page right now if i just simply click in the middle just one click it highlights this section in blue okay from here i can just start typing so no, no need to delete as long as it's all highlighted blue i can just start typing so i'll put my name in first i'll then go to the next section again same thing as long as you got the the cursor symbol there the, or the selector symbol one click makes it go blue and i just start typing in the course ICT course skills and again whatever level that you are. Go to my last one, do a click again and this is my report. Now because I've done this on one page if I scroll down it's now on that page, that page and you get the picture that's basically on all of them which is great. So next we want to insert a footer now I could go ahead and just start typing stuff in here etc, however I'm just going to take you through the, the same process, okay? Um, whilst we're in the header and footer tab, it's given me an option to insert a footer there, however if you are no longer in that tab, again you would just go to insert and we would just select footer again. Um, again for this one, yep. Just select the first one, that should be fine. If I scroll down here, yep, same thing. So in here, it could be a should number. As simple as that. Okay. Now, there's something else that I want to insert in here, uh, which is my page numbers. Again, under the header, head and footer tab, it's given me this option here, but if you're not no longer in that, a tab, same thing, insert, and there you can see page number. I click on page number, I click page number, and it's asked me, right, okay, where would you like it? So, bottom of the page, on the right hand side, is fine. Now it's given me this, this option, show number on first page, we don't want that, so we just leave that blank. We then click OK, job done. It's now giving me that page number. And those page numbers tie in with your contents page. Okay. And to get out of the header and footer section, 
all we do is just do a triple click inside the document. So do it out with the boxes, uh, out, out with the header and footer boxes and just click, triple click inside your Word document. Hope that helps guys. Cheers.